breakthrough year 2013 has seen both of them win their first ever Super Series titles. For this man, Tommy Sugiato, well, he won the Singapore Super, Super Series, beating Boonsak Ponsana, the defending champion, in the final for Wang Shiming. Well, he's won two titles this year, but his first ever Super Series title, that was the China Masters. CBA. Okay. Service. <laughs> so, uh, on half of this one, looming and toss of the coin has been completed. So, Tommy Sugiato, number five seed. against the former world junior champion, Wang Jiaming. Wang Jiaming won the world junior title in 2008 in Pune in India. Well, of course, as far as the race to Malaysia, the road to Malaysia is concerned, Lee Chong Wei most definitely at number one. Although sadly, Lee Chong Wei was the number one seed here in China. He's had to pull out. He's played eight tournaments. He's been in seven, seven finals, winning five of them so far, as far as Super Series is concerned. Kenichi Targo, he's played all ten. Three finals he's been in, but he's yet to win a title. Big mover on that list that we just saw was Sansom Boonsak, moved up four places to number six on the ranking list. But here is the 23-year-old from Guangdong province, number 10 in the world ranking at the moment has been as high as eight spent one week in april earlier this year at number eight he's number 11 on the super series list having gone up one place and a very very easy first round match against wang against rajiv usif 17 and 7 in just 37 minutes i was bitterly disappointed that rajiv usif wasn't a little more forceful and a little more with it in the second game. So to the current world number five, number five seed. He's number four in the Super Series ranking. His win-loss record for the year translates into two finals. Not only won the Singapore, but reached the final of the German Grand Prix as well. Now he's beaten Victor Axelsson in three games in yesterday's first round match. A minute shy of the hour mark, Fixel... Victor Axelson, of course, well, um, I was very glad to see him on court because he's been struggling with an ankle injury and he actually play. played very well. So there you can see what played once previously. That was in the Singapore Super Series earlier this year. And of course with Tommy Sugiato going on to win the title. Obviously won on that occasion. Charles runs up former world champion, now the men's singles coach for China. He takes his position at the back of the court. Choco Suprianto. Another former world champion. It's a who's Ladies who and gentlemen, former greats in badminton right, on the coaches' benches. China, and on my left, Tommy Sukiato, Indonesia. Sukiato, to serve, level play. So Tommy Sukiato, 23-year-old, 25-year-old from Jakarta, getting this second-round encounter underway. Um, if you talked a year about go about men's singles players from Indonesia, you probably would have mentioned the greats Taufik Hidiat. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> it was on a mission there. Yeah. <laughs> Sa Simon oh. Santoso. Yeah. Sonny Dui Kunchioro. But the man of 2013 has been without question Tommy Sugiato from his country.
Sorry, Silva. Two, four. Beaten finalist last year, this man. Lost out in the final to Chen Long. So this year, Tommy Three, Sugiato two. had played in this tournament twice previously and never got past the first round. No. Well, he has improved a lot. Very much so. And confidence-wise also, you know, mm. I think that's the big part of his game. Gain confidence that he can... That his style is uh, effective. Yeah, in fact, I remember sitting Three, in this very stadium four. a year ago. And I think I was sitting with you, Jim, and watching that first round match, Sugiato against Chen Jin. It was uh, not surprising that he lost because Chen Jin was the number two seed. But for Sugiato to lose in those three games, it, I think it was an hour and 23 minutes, something like that. And I think we discussed at the time that he was just four, on the brink. Three. One felt he was just on the edge of the big breakthrough. Yeah. And the breakthrough has happened now. Yeah, and he, he of course, playing, I remember he played for Thomas Cobb, he plays for his, his country. He was the yeah. one who was picked to play. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of good things happening for him. Now, when that is said, he is also like any other Chinese player would be in men's singles. He's up against, you know, Five, so three. many great Indonesian players over the years. That's what he's being, you know, challenged. For. Yeah. You know, that's you know, he's being compared to, you know, Taufik, his coach, <laughs> uh, and his dad, of his course. Da his dad. His dad. His, uh, 1983 world champion that, Ichuk Sugiyata. Yeah. That that. Uh, uh, Six, three. You know. Even what he did last year and has done over the last couple of months is, from an Indonesian perspective, not good enough. Mm. So, so um, that's that's really a challenge for him. That 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 he can't, you know, because that Simon hasn't really done well and Taufik has quit. You know, he, he can't. He can't Sorry. continue to live on the well. That's a surprise, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, but also, I mean, don't you think part of what we've been discussing earlier today, you know, and and when you enjoy success, which obviously Tommy Sugiato winning the Singapore Super Series the previous week in Jakarta in his home event, he'd reached the semi-final, beating Chen Long, the number two seed mm. in the first round, I think it was, or maybe it was the second round. I th it was the first round, and. You know, Seven, all three, of a sudden, all eight. the other coaches, all the other players are watching Tommy Sugiato. No longer is he one of the journeymen. No. Everybody's saying, this boy can play. We it's need to know. Yeah. We, and studying his style, studying his tactics, looking for his weaknesses, knowing what his strengths are. And all of a sudden, it becomes more difficult it when does. whoever he plays against, because everybody's been studying yeah, him. It does. Of course it does. But that's... Sorry, that's a part of big Four, that you're becoming a big star. Yeah. And that, that you have to go through those things. And I think that's the step he has to take now. Gifted players, you know, the style, the technique, the movements—they have, 
stab everything. It's interesting you say that because for me, Wang Xiaoming is almost of the style of Chen Jin. He's a really hard worker. He's got he all the shots, worker, but, but he doesn't have the flair that. of the Lin Dan's uh, going outside of China yeah, yeah. players, uh, Li Chong Wei, players like Lane that. Judge. To me, oh, hang on, yeah, needs the court mopped a little bit. Do you think I'm being unfair? Do you yeah, think I, no, I, no, I don't, I don't think you're being unfair. I think, I think if you look at Zhang Ziming, I think he doesn't look like a Chinese player. You know, when he, of course, yeah. he is Chinese, but. Yeah, I think he has a little bit more loose way of playing. I, I almost sometimes uh, looks rock. like a bonsack, for example. D d he reminds me uh, his whole body shape, his yeah. body posture on court. To me, he is a bonsack bonsama. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Five, so, and that's eight, very uncharacteristic from, from a Chinese player, I think. Um, Oh, that's Zola. fascinating. Nine, five. Yeah, well taken. Service of six, nine. So good on the attack. Two forty three, hundred and fifty one miles an hour. in the game interval, only eight minutes played. Eleven, seven, eight. Oh, well, it was a creative idea. Service over. Eight, eleven. He's been successful on that with many patients, so I can't really blame him for trying.
Sofrendo. Still offering advice. That's unbelievable. What a shot. Service over. Nine. Twelve. Yeah. Well, a case of anything you can do, I can do better. Another one finding the line. Shot. Yeah. Net play forced the short left. Yeah, Wang is controlling the front court. Every time Tom is trying to get in, he's, he's just kind of getting his mid court shot, so he can't really do anything. Long well, when he played that backhand, he did a full pirouette. 15, 9. That's a sign of confidence. Yeah. No, it was the one before that. Fifteen nine, play. Uh, it's well taken. Fifteen nine. Looks like he's a looking at one from the not that he did, he did really well last year, he was in the final, I know, but, but I, I do still think that he looks much stronger, and he looks like, you know, he's got more attitude now on court than he used to have. Um, maybe we'll, we'll see in the different Wang Jimang in the future. Tommy. Being forced. Wang is playing so steep from the backcourt that he can come forward all the time. So even though that he's standing pretty well in his defense, Tommy, he's, he's still being forced on the next shot. Yeah. 18. Oh, this is six straight points.
Oh, stood at the net. Yeah. Uh, lifted over Service Wang Ximing's head and didn't Ten move from the 18. net position, Tommy Sugiato. the line, goodness me. Good shot. Just seemed to clip the racket head over the top of the shuttle. Yeah, there was no real follow through. No. the sort Thank of you. precision oh. on exactly where he's placing the smash that yeah. that I didn't see enough of in our previous match here no, today the exactly. women's doubles As soon as somebody is playing, you know, too short, or it, they're getting punished straight away. They have to be very precise of where, when they're lifting and where they are lifting to. It's a good choice of smash though from Tommy. A great reaction from Shang. One, two. Game point opportunities. Let's go wide. Oh, what a brilliant net shot to close out the opening game from last year's beaten finalist. Wang Xiaoming. 21 15 confirms the umpire. 21 minutes needed. 
and it was a wonderful net shot. Hit the top of the tape, just trickled over. So once again, confirmation 21-15 to Wang Xiaoming in game number one. Hot one, 20 seconds. Hot one, 20 seconds. Second game, level play. So the former world junior champion, Wang Xiaoming, having taken the first game, a very impressive style, 21 15, oh. against the world number five, Tommy Sugiato. Oh. Tommy Sugiato himself in the final of the world junior championship, but you have to go back to. 2006, when he lost out to Hong Ji Hyun from Korea. Hong Ji Hyun making a welcome return last week, yeah. reached the final of the Korean Grand Prix gold event. Lost out to the how many times retired? Yeah. Lee Hyun Il. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Hyun Il came through the qualifying, you know, and won the tournament we can't really a week say ago. He's retired, can we? <laughs> no. And what a great player he is. I'd love yeah. to see him back main circuit playing all the tournaments. Sugiato got to do here to, to change this around, Jim? Yeah, well, he, he did some of the right stuff there. I just think that one of the problems, the big difference between these two players is when you see Wang Jiman coming forward, he has way more options in front of the court. Uh, um, where, where Tommy's a little bit, you know, he can only, uh, only and only, but he, he's, he's good at driving it, but, but he he's doesn't have these different variations, so it's easy to read his game. Um, I think he needs to do something like we saw there. We he needs to trick him into to some more flat, some more net. Um, if Wang is just, if Wang can control the game like he's doing now, then I think Tommy will have won't be coming out on the good side if you can say it like that. So he needs to have way more. Can you say uh, variation in his game? One. Maybe come in with some drop shots, some cuts, instead of hitting hard every time from the back. Well, we had a quick glimpse there of Vladimir Ivanov. He's just played men's doubles, and I can bring you right up to date, because he and partner Sorry, Ivan so Sosanov have just beaten the number five two, seeds Kukian Kat and Tambu Hyong of Malaysia in two straight games. No wonder he was sitting there looking fairly happy. <laughs> Good result for Russia. Yeah. 
not a good result for Malaysia. Three, four. line judge asking to be hit. Surely he must have changed his mind. It's a little bit better by Tommy. No. Also controlling it. Four. Four. Forcing Wang to. Six. Four. To take chances. Well, there was a call from Wang Xiaming. Five, six. Tommy, I think, felt that he had influenced the line judge. I thought the line judge got it right. I yeah. thought it was just wide. Yeah, Tommy tried to persuade him. And that's the reaction we, we said. That, yeah. would, that, would, that won't be there when we got that. Review Syst system. Yeah, system coming in. Exactly your point. Service came up. forward, racket arm outstretched, Still came from up. above Five. the shuttle, and then he's got some options. Yeah. And he was more adventurous. Look, the little yeah. well, guide across the board. just blogging his straight all the time. Yeah. He did something different. And he has done all last couple of rallies, and I do believe that momentum has shifted a little bit. Yeah. Which you can also see in Wang's game, because he's forcing it. Tambun Kiong sitting on the floor, reflecting on his defeat, perhaps. To the Russians. Seven, five, right. Yeah, you can't help him think, thinking about the future. No. For the Malaysian pair. Well, I think some oh. people will think, what, what future? Should yeah. there be a future? Five. Well, we won't go there at the moment. Sonny Dwi Kunchura. Service over. Actually, I, I, I've been thinking about something I said earlier about Bambang Suprianto being one of the rare specimens who excelled at all three disciplines. Another good rally. Yeah. yeah, more pressure Service from the front. One. Now, no, of course, six. you were famous for being world number one in men's doubles, but you were world junior champion in mixed doubles with Rickard Olsen, mm -hmm. and you were European men's singles junior champion. Yeah. You're one of those rarities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you can read what's happening yeah. here. No, <laughs> no yes, I, I, love, I like playing uh, all three events as well. I think it was also, at that time, it was also, you know, I think if we take most of the singles players today and put them in men's doubles, I don't Seven, think they'll stand ten. a chance. No. Not a chance. Well, well, so I think maybe 
it's either become because they're specializing earlier on the event they're gonna play, or the things have just changed a lot. Um, I think both. Yeah. I think both. Yeah, yeah, this is nicely done by Tommy Sugiato, because if you remember, in the start of his second game, he was one four down. Rangers. Which is one ten of the last 13 points. Yeah. And he has opted his game. He's coming forward and trying more. Yeah. Hot one, 20 seconds. Hot one, 20 seconds. Yeah, we really only touched on it earlier, Jim, when we started talking about Indonesia and the resurgence. There's been a big shape up, shake up in PBSI, the national governing body, and an awful lot of the former great players of the golden era of Indonesian badminton have come back into the fold and are involved with the coaches. You know, we've already talked seven, about Joko right. Sutrianto coaching in this match and so on, it has made a huge difference apart from anything. I think psychologically it's made a big difference. It's a confidential boost, boost you know. It's, it's yeah. They just maybe give that belief in that yeah. you can do it. No. Yeah. Yeah, when you're surrounded by people who have won gold medals at world and international level, it, you know, you must as as a player sort of think, well, he's been there, he's done that, he knows how I'm feeling, so, so, so you know, if he's gained his experience Eight, and he's telling me, okay, at this point, this is where you've got to push harder or this is where yeah. you've just got to uh, try not to be too aggressive and it makes a big difference. It does make it, and then it also makes it different. In it maybe it takes the pressure a little bit off the players. Yeah. Then again, the players that comes in, you know, the former players, they have the, all the pressure now because yeah. you have to live up to all those gold medals and whatever you want. Um, and that's difficult when you have to have to do it through other players. You can't take control of it yourself. Yeah. It's actually the players in there now that is responsible for your success. So it's um, so far it's been working quite well. Oh my goodness weathered the storm defended so well and given the one opportunity and he grabs it well played tommy sugiato oh women's doubles pair twin sisters from china have just lost to the number two seeds danish combination of christina peterson and camilla arutil Oh, well taken. I really, I really like that step that Sorry, one has so to the net. Nine, so quick. See, look, look how far back he's standing, and still he gets all the way up. So he can kill the shot. He does not, not even get up to do just a draw shot. He can actually kill it from there. Again, you see. Service so over. 14, 9. Change of shuffle required. Service of the ten fourteen. Right. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. times I thought the rally was over. Yeah, I think Some one saved it twice where you thought it was yeah. over. Well, that equals one he had earlier. Surprising. Players having the opportunity to take on board some liquid and towel down as the court is mopped. Oh, what a rally that was. It's important for Tommy here to keep his head straight. A rally like right. that can be a momentum sh uh, changer. Yeah. Oh. Missed it. Always think it's so important after all, such an incredible rally. You know, it's very telling what happens in the next rally. Third shot from Wang Jiming is certainly not helping the Chinese cause. Service of that. 12, 15. We see a little bit more mistakes in this set from the front quarter, and I also believe that's because of both players trying to, to do a little bit more. Taking a little bit more chances. Oh, clever. Ah, oh, Tommy Sobiato did extremely well to take that smash off his right hip. Got himself out of the way. No, that long, long rally. 14, yeah, and 12. And, and, and he's just he's just, just sneaking mm. in there, you know, yeah. he's playing the flat game, as I said. Well, if he wants to win it in two straight, last year's beaten finalist, now's the time to have a little run of points.
service of uh, 14, 18. A uh, very casual block across court on his forehand defence. It served him very well indeed. It was a lovely shot. Lovely. Great slice from Tommy Sugiato. Service over. 19. Racket 14. Through, comes through quickly. Your opponent thinks that you're hitting a hard smash. You slice across the feathers of the shuttle, creating the deception. that from a, from, a, from a slice like that you also have to as you see Wang has to out of balance put more power to the shuttle himself so he can't really can't really use the power from 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 uh, Tommy it's a good build-up shot and sometimes you see it being a winner 19 14 right Yeah, the hard work. I don't know why he's shaking his head, goodness me. Oh, it's paid off. He's got six opportunities to close out this second game and send it to a third and deciding end. On wide, okay. it is one game all 21 14. Second game won by Sociato 21 14. One game all. Change 45 minutes. This second round match has been in progress, and we're back to square one. It's one all. Everything to play for in the third and deciding game. Ah, uh, <laughs> 
New shirts, new rackets, returning to court, the two men. Final game, Lamo, play. Number five seed, Tommy Sugiato, far side of the court as we look down. Oh, started strongly. Well, I thought that was in. Yeah. Wang Jiming doesn't like the call. We're at a slight One. angle Love. to the court. Let's have another look. I think that's in. Yeah. yeah. Good call. Oh, instinctively, as it happened, I felt it would have landed in, but I do wear very focals. Oh, so is that. He's working really hard. On he is, isn't he? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Take that! Goodness me, what a smash! One. Well, that's oh. the fastest one of the day so far. 2.53. On my word, 157 miles an hour. Very, very accurate. One. Good placement. Uh, it's no time to slip up now in this match. Both of them are way aware of what is, what's at stake here. Very aggressive. Rally. On video to be able to re generate that kind of power after 50 minutes. Yeah. It's just telling you that these players are top, top, top. Fit. Service over. Two, three. I think we should Sorry, do so well to remember that as Four, far as this man two. is concerned, Wang Jiaming, when he did win his only Super Series title so far, that was the China Masters earlier this year, he saved match points in both the semi-final against Jan Jorgensen and the final against the qualifier, Sun Wan Ho. So even when you think he's down and out, momentum of the second game changed, went in favour of Sugiato, do not write off. Wang Jiming. No, especially not with a, with a shot like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that smash. And it's, you know, 
and it's actually here in the start of the third, we've already seen three smashes going straight down on Tommy, and we haven't seen that all match. Yeah. So that's just telling telling me that Wang is opting his game, and, and he's, he's hitting harder now. And that's you know, players that can do that. They have a... Oh! Ah, there you go, again. What, what is it? Is it is it sheer power or to me oh, he seems tempo. to be getting... Tempo. Yeah. yeah he's opting in tempo so he's getting the chances to hit hard. Yeah. You know, he's controlling the front court, he's pushing Tommy and then Tommy's going to have to try and kind of gain it away from, from, from Wang and, but that's not, that lift is not good enough and then he comes yeah. in and hits it hard. Yeah. So it's all... Before the smash goes down on the on the on the on the court, all the work has been done on the front court. And players with the ability to do what Wang can do, you know, they have a big, you know, we saw it also in the second they cover the front court from a little bit of a distance from the net. And players that can do that, it's difficult to play against because then you see what the Tommy is right now to play the net and yeah, suddenly five straight points, quick points at that. Yeah. Didn't have to work that long a rally either time to, to win a, a, any of those five no. last points. So he needs to get, but Tommy needs to get back to kind of have more patience and, and then he needs to get the attack himself. Three, two, three. That was not the right yeah. choice. Joker Sutrianto is not looking too happy no, at the no, moment No, no, he either. wasn't happy with that shot either. No. I was lucky he got away with that one. Um. on right now it's really so many variations Let's look at the slice drive on the well played by one Three, play. Oh. Silver. Four, nine. Seem to swing his racket too early yeah. there or something. I don't think he was expecting a shot like that. You know, normally that would have been the easy shot then. Yeah, it's a nice angle. Yeah, and you see, it's all about the attack. It's yeah. uh, the one who's the aggressive one right now is winning the points. I think once again it was the correct call, that hands on hips initially from Wang Jiming. I don't know whether that was frustrating, frustration at the line judge or frustration at himself. <laughs> so this over. Mm, make some ends. 10, 7. Eight, ten. Oh, 
flat. Oh, it's gone long. I think that's four or five no, very, very, ten. very easy mistakes from uh, from Wang, and that's kept Tommy in the game. But isn't that, to me, Wang Xiaoming is all hit and miss, you know? He's won two titles this year. He's been in a third final, so three finals so far this year, and yet he's had nine either first or second round losses as well. Yeah. So he's hit and miss. He's hit and miss within the rally. He's hit and miss in his results in general. Yeah. Yeah, there's a thin line between success and failure. Eh? Yeah. And he's he's trying to balance it out. And you can see that. <laughs> Well, umpire says no, it wasn't a fault. Well, certainly it doesn't call a fault. It's difficult for us. Yeah, you see that? That might as well have been a mistake. Oh, well, I hope we can see that from the net camera. Yeah, that looked a little bit almost like he stepped on, <laughs> on the thing that's holding the post. So. Eleven nine, play. So we're just seconds shy of the hour mark. And here we get going. In the last section Service of this over. match. Ten, eleven. Defense again. <laughs> it's kind of like you take your shot. If I take that one, you can have a shot. It's kind of <laughs> it's smash block lift, smash block lift. It's kind of the Play. Wild West game. I think if Tommy was a little bit. More patience, he had a bigger chance because Wang is really looking for this mess now. That's a far. Out. Service over. 11, 13. I think Tommy should look to rally a little bit more. Especially when Wang has, as we spoke about, this <laughs> balance between making mistakes or winners, you know. I think when we're, we're over the hour mark, nobody can just fade around like that without mistakes. So if he's a little bit patient, play, uh, play the shuttle so Wang doesn't get the chance. And then stay away from mistakes himself like this. Yeah. Because that was the right rally he played, but. Yeah.
service server. Wow. 12, 14. We saw three in about four or five rallies from Wang Xiaoming doing exactly that. But look how short Wang is playing. Yeah, 247. That's his fastest of the day. Thank you. 153 miles an hour. Thirteen, fourteen. Oh, yeah. Dress the shuttle early, then held it and held it, and then the little flick at the end. Super. Yeah. It looks like Wang has run out of the. Uh, Write him off at your peril. I yeah, can't I'm help. Not him <laughs> off, but, but, no, but no, no, no. I'm just saying that. Yeah. Well, I. He looks a little bit confused. Yeah, and perhaps a little bit fatigued, and and yeah. that's how he looked to me in the China Masters in September. He still ended up winning the tournament. But this is where Tommy has to be smarter. You know him. Don't give the chance in the flat drive here uh, with Wang. They stay out of it, you know. Play a soft mid-court shot. Wait for your chance. He will get the chances instead of giving Wang the options. Oh, that's going wide. Yeah. yeah, that's a lack of discipline. Wasn't under pressure, he knows it. Yeah. You see, if you wanna if you wanna challenge the big players, you see Tommy had all the options here. I'm not saying the game's over, but mm. Tommy had the option at 14 all he's made two clear two clear mistakes. One out of the back and one wide. In a position where he had, you know, momentum and everything, you, you just can't do that. That's well left. Goodness me. Could have played that 17. quite easily. Yeah. Let that 17. smash go long. It's weird. Mm. And all of a sudden he's back level. 17. Oh. The ebb and flow of this match. Intriguing. Who's got the nerve? Well, 18, 
we talked about Tommy Sugiato two simple errors just a moment ago now who's done the simple errors yeah. Wang Xiaoming my goodness got away with that one Tommy But there's errors where you can clearly see it's an error. You hit it in the middle, you hit it out. You also have tactical errors. You know, I think Tommy made a tactical error there. You know, he had a good position where he could have played into the court that he's done the last couple of rallies, and then he had to play that left round the head side where we've seen Wang so far been. Ooh. That's a fall receiver. Yeah. Well, I'm with you on that. He moved as if he was going to receive the serve. Serve hasn't been struck. He's now claiming he wasn't ready. He can't was do being it. held too long. They have to call one of the things. Let's win it on rallies, so that's fine. to climb a ladder there to get up for that one. Look how high that jump is as well. Tommy's still discussing that serve. Yeah. 1918. Hey. Mm, Tommy's all a bit confused at the moment. He was waiting for receive in the right hand side of the court. Got told he had to move to the left. That's gone wide. Making the wrong choices. And on a run 19. of three straight points, Wang Xiaoming, last year's beaten finalist, has two match point opportunities. Hey. One will do. 21 15, 14 21, 21 18 in the third and deciding game, an hour and 10 minutes. Well. It was an intriguing contest, 21, and the 1, momentum 15. switched from side to 21, side. 15, 14, 21, 21, 18. Thanks. Uh, good smash to finish it off from Wang Xiaoming. What a battle. Through to the quarter-final. And there's confirmation of how he did it. 21, 15, 14, 21, 21, 18 in an hour and 10 minutes. And Tommy Sugiato, the number five seed, is out of the China Open. So there you can see that we just have one more match to come here in this afternoon's play here at the Victor China Open. And it's men's doubles, and it's the pair who won the last Super Series event prior to this. And they won it as qualifiers for Naldi and Kido of Indonesia. They're up against the All England champions, the number four seeds, Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan.